Hello everybody, it's Squiddle the Little back here with another video and today in this video I'm going to be doing a mod showcase over the mod Advanced Rocketry. So basically in this mod I have a few things set up, but you can basically go to space and it is really cool. Look the the sun is a circle. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to be showing y'all how to go to the moon in this video. So I hope y'all enjoy the video and I hope it helps y'all out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be showing y'all is how to make a rocket. So all you need is these things. So the first thing, these aren't in any order, but uh, I just, how I have them. So the first thing you need <coughs> is a rocket, sorry, a rocket assembling machine. So you'll need some stuff, titanium stuff, which is probably pretty hard to get. I don't know, I haven't really played this mod much, but I know some stuff about it. A control circuit board, that's pretty easy. Whoops, concrete, which is easy, and a user interface, which is easy. So that will be like the main part of um, your rocket that you'll need. Then you'll need the fueling station to fuel it. Uh, you'll need some tin, machine structure, which is just iron, steel, fan which is just steel and then a liquid io circuit board which is pretty easy and another user interface launch pads you'll need uh, quite a couple of these i don't know how many exact because you it, you don't need an exact amount but these are really easy guidance computer pretty easy machine structure sorry machine structure is again iron titanium and tracking circuit which in a precision assembler, which is that, uh, pretty easy. Uh, and I have Ender, Redstone, and Basic Circuit Plate. I guess that could be pretty hard. Yeah, that's how you make that. Input plug for the power, but today I'm going to just be using uh, creative power input plugs. And then... Another thing is a linker, very easy, seat, and structure towers, which is steel rods, and this is wool, and then, yeah, that. And then you need, you can either have a liquid fueled engine or an advanced fueled engine. All they have different is, I think, this might take up more fuel, but this is a lot faster than this, but also is more expensive. So this one, just steel and titanium, and then liquid fuel tank, which is just steel, and then a planet ID chip. So I have a rocket set up here. Later, I'll show y'all how to make one. I'll make it myself. But another thing, okay, so you also need stuff to survive on the moon. So I have that stuff here. So first you need... A suit workstation, which is just machine structure and crafting table, which is this thing here. A space helmet, which all of the um, space gear is really easy. Glass pane, iron, and wool. Uh, space suit chest piece, wool, steel fan, iron rod, liquid fuel tank. And then the space suit leggings, which is really easy. Wool and iron rod, space boots iron and wool then you'll need a gas charge pad which is user interface steel liquid fuel tank machine structure and a weighed pressure plate okay so once you have all these things i'll just get all of them here wait a second okay so what you're gonna have to do is so if i come over here if I put all of this on and I go to slash game mode survival, I have stuff on the side, my oxygen. What I can do is I can place one of these gas charge pads. Then if I go in creative, um, here if I get, there should just be tanks of oxygen. Thing is, I do, I'm not really sure how you get these, which is one thing you might have to look that up. You might just be able to, you probably can just like find it somewhere, I don't know. But 
what you can do is okay so what y'all can do is y'all can add like modules onto this so for the helmet you can have an anti-fog visor which will probably get rid of fog you need a small battery basic lens advanced circuit and control circuit board when a precision assembler atmosphere analyzer just just 10 basic lens small battery advanced circuit user interface and then on the chest piece you can have you can put two pressure tanks which there's different types but i'm just using the super high one which is just titanium and some water bionic legs which is just motor advanced circuit and control circuit board padded landing boots which is leather boots feather advanced circuit board or just advanced circuit and control circuit board so i'm just going to take all this so what you can do is here i'll go to survival what i can do is i can put my helmet here and i can put these two here and now i have that on I can put the chest piece here. I can put the two um, super high pressure tanks. And now I have those on. The leggings, which I can put the bionic leg. And the boots. And I can put the padded landing boots. So now, uh, with the anti-fog thing, yeah, I probably don't see fog on the moon. And bionic leg, I don't, I'm not that, I think you can, I think I'm jumping higher. The padded landing boots lets you go faster, and also you don't take fall damage, which is pretty cool there. And with the super, or the tanks or whatever, of oxygen, what you can do is, so you can put it, you can put oxygen in a gas charge pad, and then since you have the tanks on, you can step on this, and now you have a lot more, um, oxygen so you can breathe longer on the moon okay so one more cool thing that i just thought was pretty cool you can make a hovercraft with two liquid fueled engines structure tower dilithium dilithium dust and i guess you just find that uh two small batteries two two times small batteries which is just four small batteries copper plate user interface and a structure tower so this actually looks really cool. <laughs> it's a actual hovercraft. And as you can see here, look, you can see the moon, which I don't know why it's that close to the sun, but okay. <laughs> okay, so the final thing that I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a rocket. So I'm just, whoops. I'm going to get all of this stuff. Yes. All right. So, uh, I don't need the power import plug because I'm just going to use that. So, uh, you can, I think the max is like 64 by 64 um, with the launch pad. This is what you're going to have to put your rocket on. So for this, I'm just going to make it 5x5, um, five five, I think this is. Is this 5x5? Five five? Yes, 5x5. Five five. All right, so what you're going to need to do is here. I'm just using the advanced rocket engine so it will go faster. So on the bottom layer, you need to put the rocket engines. And then, uh, wait a second. Above this, you need liquid fuel tanks, which I'll put here. I'll put another room. Okay, and then what you need to do is you need to put a guidance computer just anywhere on it. And then a... Planet ID chip inside of it. And then on top of that, or anywhere, you need a seat so you can sit down. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put a structure tower that is at least the height of it. I don't know if it's at least the height of it or a block above. One of those two. And it has to be also touching 
the launch pad, like the this layer. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a rocket assembling machine and a fueling station. So this rocket uh, assembling machine is, is scanning this launch pad and the structure tower to see if this is this rocket is okay to use. So you need to scan it. It says clear for liftoff. You have all these stats here. Build. And now the build's complete. And now this is an entity. So you can't break any of the blocks. But what you can do is if you um, shift right click on it. You can press disassemble. And that will make it blocks again. And again I'm using the creative power import plug. As I showed you. Where is it? Here. This is probably the one you'd have to normally make and then put energy in it to, yeah. So now what you need to do is you need to get a linker, which I showed y'all. And then uh, you need to link the fueling station to the guidance computer. You can do it straight to the rocket, but it's easier just to do it to the guidance computer. And then I think that's all. Oh, and now I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. You can get fuel tanks of rocket fuel. So how you get these is like this. Here, I'll go in survival for this. Um, you'll probably, I think you just find this on the ground, rocket fuel, and then you can just pick it up with a bucket and then turns into a tank of rocket fuel. So now if I put this in there, this is inserting into the rocket, as you can see on the left side. So what you need to do first, or before you um, leave, you need to um, you need the planet ID chip in the guidance computer, which you can insert just from there. You need to press select destination, and then for now, the only um, planets you'll be able to go to is Luna, which is our moon and earth and you can just press this and it says these so if i select luna which is the moon now it says destination luna chords it doesn't no uh, okay so now uh, is this one is like the exact same thing i built over here i built over here i didn't even mean to do that but so now look the fuel is completely filled up now all you should have to do is press space and then it will give you nine seconds if to launch, and if you, you can press space, and it will cancel it. And now you just wait a little bit, and you'll go out, and then you'll eventually just get like some loading screen, and you'll be teleported like that. You got teleported to the moon. Now you can just. You'll auto descend in like 20 seconds. You can just press space to descend. And then you will land. And by the way, once you, um, once you, the like, rocket is, um, like already launched and you're inside of it, don't get out of it because then you will be trapped. And it won't crash. It's not possible for it to crash. And now you are on the moon. So here you have um, moon turf. What's this block? Dark moon turf. And I think one of the, like, the best things on the moon is there's a bunch of lithium, I think. Which is a lot easier to get on the moon than the overworld, I think. And also, what you can do is on the moon... Like in the air or whatever. You can make a space station. So if y'all would want me to um, do a video over that. Please like and comment that you would. And again if you like the video. Please like and subscribe. And comment. And I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.